All right. So now, how do we organize this data that we have? The answer is with two things. And these things you can find in other languages, but uh, we're going to just be very specific here with JavaScript. Um, one thing is called an array. Array. This. Array. And the other thing is called an object. I think you know what object means. Array. Let's see if we can find an image of an array. I don't know if we can find an image. Jesus. Okay. So fuck this. Not happening. No images. Okay. An array is just basically how we store data in a list kind of way. Okay. So for example, if I want to organize the days of the week, just as an example, if I want to organize the days of the week, what I will do would be something like this days of week. And look at this funny fucking name of the variable. Look at this. This is again one thing that JavaScript has. It needs a rule for the grammar. Uh, if you do something like days of week, nothing will happen. There will be no error, but your coworkers and your future self will hate you. This is because there is something called camel case. Camel case, I don't know if you've seen a camel, but a camel has like heels. Camel case uh, means that you will always start your variable names with a lowercase. And then if on the word there is a space, instead of a space, of course, because the, the space don't exist on JavaScript for a variable name, you need to put an uppercase letter and then the other word. And if there should be another space, what you will do will be another uppercase. So always start with lowercase. And if there is a space, you start with uppercase on the next word. Of course, there is no spaces on variable names. You shouldn't put funny characters like this. Starting like this is kind of fucked. You can also start like this, const like this, not happening. All right. So keep it civil and do this so your future self doesn't hate you. Okay. Now, I want to make an array of days of the week. Now, what I could do ideally would be something like Monday, for example, Monday, Monday. It's going to take long. So I'm going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because I'm lazy. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. What? Friday. All right. And here, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. Now, if somebody says to you, yo, I want to see all the days of the week that you have on your database of names of weeks, you're going to be like, awesome. I'm a programmer now. So I can do console log. And you will say the first one will be Monday. And then the second one, Tuesday, and then the third one, Wednesday, and then Thursday, and then Friday. And then they are like, awesome, let me see. And it works. Ta -da. But this is not efficient at all. We need to be able to put them together. And this is when we talk about something called an array. Okay, an array is how we can group something like many strings on the same on the same thing. Okay, so we're going to say const days of week. And how do we create an array? An array is very simple of creating things that with this microphone, I cannot see my keyboard. That's why I make so many mistakes. Sorry for that. Okay. To create an array, all you have to do is do this. Ta -da. That's it. This means an array, whatever you put inside of it is going to be on the array. Basically, that's it. Of course, you can only put the data types that we saw on the previous video. So you can only put text, true or false, um, numbers, floats, that thing. Okay, in our case, we're going to do days of week, and we're going to organize them like this, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 
Saturday and Sunday. All right, and now if we do console log days of Jesus Christ, oh, it's broken. I need to charge it. Console log days of week. Let me just see my cable. Okay, it should work. Go here. There you go. And look at the different notation. We have mon to wins, and they're like comma and text, comma and text, comma and text. That is cool as fuck, if you ask me. Now, if you say, hey, can I save something else? Of course you can, player. You can say, for example, true. I don't know, you are your own god when you're programming. So you can do days of the week, true. And it will just show up there. It will say everything plus true. You can do whatever the fuck you want. It's programming, it's your word. You are the king, okay, or queen, all right? Now, this is how we organize stuff. And now arrays, this now, it's an array, okay? These days of the week, it's an array. Arrays have very, um, have some rules inside of themselves. So for example, I can say, um, if I wanna get the, let's say I only want to get the third day of the week, I'm gonna do this, right? And then when I click run, it's going to give me the third day of the week. In this case, it's gonna give me Wednesday. And you will say, hey, why did you use the number two? You should have used the number three. And this is not true. The computer, it's a computer. He's not a human. Computers count from zero. So Monday is a zero. Tuesday, it's a one. Wednesday, it's a two. All right? So this is why if I wanna get something, I just say the number two. And it is going to work without problem. If I say one, it's gonna give me the second one. If I say zero, it's gonna give me the first one. And what happens if I want to get the number three, uh, two, one? Undefined, doesn't exist. Okay, now this is one of the few ways, first ways of how we can organize our arrays, our uh, data inside of an array. Here, like I told you, you can put whatever you want. You can put five, you can put true, you can put stuff, you can put la 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 la, right? Even then you can also do, for example, const something equals something. And here you can just put comma something, all right? And it will work, no problem, okay? Uh, fuck, let's just delete this thing. Days of week, okay. And it should work without a problem, okay? So this, there you go, look at all that stuff. So this is how you organize your data with arrays. Now on the next video, we're gonna see how we can organize data with objects. And that is something a little bit different than what we're doing here. So see you on the next one, bye-bye.